who have visited these people and have seen these are not just camps, these are human beings. They have dreams for their families. These are children who want to go to school but cannot. These are mothers who are still wondering whether their sons, their daughters that they had left behind in Syria are still alive. These are fathers who are wondering whether their sons or daughters who had gone ahead of them to some countries in Europe would ever reconnect with them. These are human beings. The conflicts that cause a lot of harm to property and lives and cultures, for example, in Syria, probably are not fully understood by these people. I, I don't know, what, I, I don't think that children, those poor hungry children in those camps, can give, can give us an account of the causes of these conflicts. And so, in the name of these people, especially the children, we're appealing to the international community, appealing to leaders, political leaders, business leaders, military leaders. Can we please, please look at human beings who are the casualties, even those who are alive, maybe, maybe those who are alive are bearing the consequences of these conflicts, you know, to an extent that we could not imagine. And so in their names, we're appealing to everyone, can we, in a concerted effort, work for peace in Syria? That means honestly, humbly looking at all the roots of this, and if there should be a process of dialogue, let the process begin. Now, we cannot let the consequences of, of conflicts just continue. A worldwide movement towards peace, especially in Syria, I think needs to be started. The aid just touches the basic minimum for a few days, you know? And we are still thankful that some, uh, some people, local people and international NGOs and uh, churches and caritases are able to send four boxes you know, of uh, towels and blankets and diapers for children. But how long will they last for a family of eight? Maybe for a few days. And then after a few days, they're back to nothing. So we're appealing also to the uh, uh, international community, let us not get tired <laughs> of sending uh, aid. But we also are asking for uh, emotional, spiritual aid. There is hope. There is hope left. We should not give up on hope. There, I saw a lot of suffering, but I also saw a lot of human dignity in, uh, in the people who are suffering. And I, I've seen a lot of... Uh, of uh, altruism, the capacity to die to self and to put the needs of others before one's needs. You know? And uh, I think the world has the secret of peace and reconciliation in these people. And uh, we need to elevate those gifts to the international level.